Hi, it's Jeff Chalmers here from discoverdoublebass.com and I'm joined by one of our fantastic uh, tutors, the great Olivier Babar. So Olivier, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Jeff. Hi. Now, we filmed the course last year on jazz bowing, which I absolutely loved, and it's been really popular with the audience. And we asked for a few questions because we knew that you were coming back into the studio and we could put them to you. And we actually had quite a few questions about playing live and your setup, and are you using a mic, are you using a pickup, uh, how are you handling adding in the bow? Do you use a volume pedal in the chain? Maybe you could talk a little bit on that topic, please. Yeah, it's a really, really long topic, but uh, uh, basically uh, my uh, own approach is that um, uh, we will never have an optimal sound amplified because we play an acoustic instrument and uh, what will come out of the amplifier will never be as good or even close to what's coming out of the of the instrument so it's true basically uh, i tried all kind of setup uh, with microphone multiple pickup multiple mm. amps but basically it comes back to having uh, the best sound acoustically and having the amp the lowest possible so uh, when it comes to, and especially when you want to bow because uh, yeah. when you're going to bow uh, the difference between uh, the, your uh, acoustic sound and your amplified sound will be so huge that you really want to hear more about your more your bass so it's basically um, building your sound skills and your technique around having a great sound in any situation with any gear so do, do you um, use anything like a volume pedal or change the settings when, you're when you switch to the bow? Uh, no, generally I lower the amp to uh, not hear too much of, the, of, the, of what's coming up from it. To be honest, yeah. uh, I tried many, many pickups and many amps and uh, the conclusion was, okay, it's not, for me, it's not the best. Uh, I mean, I'll have a little bit of amp to get some bottom end, uh, but um, Basically, if I'm playing in a concert hall, I will not send the DI. I will just ask for a condenser microphone in front of the of the of the bass, okay. and I will not give them the DI signal. Yeah, you'll hide it from the sound engineer. Yeah, I'll just keep it for my own for my own use. But uh, yeah. Okay, so you're a jazz bass player. You're going out this weekend to do your local club gig. What amp do you take? I mean, I'll take uh, the easiest to carry <laughs> first. Uh, I love a small uh, 12 inch. So uh, basically a GK MB 150. Yeah. Of course, very classic one. Uh, marked by CMD uh, 121. Uh, what do I like? Uh, acoustic image. I like uh, the 10 2 especially, mm. but uh, the Coda, the Coda uh, with, uh, with one speaker is great as well, but it's a 10 inch. I really, I really tend to rely on 12 inches. 12 and uh, Eden have a great, uh, have a great cabinet, uh, quite small. So yeah. Uh, how about pickup or mic? You're playing with like a, you know, regular jazz quartet. You know, you need something. Are you going to go pick up? Uh, regular jazz quartet, club gig, full circle for an amp just for me, and a condenser mm -hmm. mic if needed. If we could maybe front. bring the camera in on the uh, full circle here as well on this. Uh, uh, on this part of the bridge here. I noticed that you'd wrapped, a, for this recording, uh, we've just been recording acoustically, we haven't been using the full circle, but you wrapped this um, cloth around the strings. Uh, could you tell us why that is? Uh, because uh, this part uh, resonates. When, oh, because uh, of the bridge here? Yeah. No, no, it's, uh, I, I think it's the strings. The after length yeah, the strings. The, the strings the, if you want, I can put it out. Mm. And uh, it's just to not... Mm. That sound mm. will resonate if you... So is that something you only do for recording or...? For uh, yes, so mainly for recording, especially solo, because mm. uh, when you're solo, you, you, you don't really have control of that, of, uh, the resonance of that, of, of, of course, mm. of that part. So w w we recorded a lot of solo bass this week. So uh, yeah, I dampened it in order to cut that uh, kind of uh, resonance. Okay, let's finish with some quick fire gear questions. I know people are going to be thinking, hang on, what strings, all of this kind of stuff. So I'll just go through them. What strings? Uh, I got uh, two, two strings I love, uh, Spyro Core. I love the red red, but uh, those one are red. And the other strings I use a lot are the Dario Zayx, depending the, on the bass. Th these are the Vike, the light gauge, uh, Dear Dario, sorry, Tomastic Spyro yeah. Core. Um, that, that, that happened to be on, on my instrument that Olivier has been, been using. Um, so uh, what red, about... Red, red are medium, I You think. prefer the medium, yeah, yeah, slightly thicker. 
What about the uh, uh, string height? Uh, low, medium? Uh, I mean, it depends. It depends of the bass. I have multiple. I uh, have a uh, few basses, but uh, basically, the higher, the bigger the sound is. So I have the tendency to like higher, higher string height. Yeah. Uh, and to sacrifice a bit of comfort uh, and maybe sustain as well. But I prefer to have the edge than to have the growl of the sustain. And what do you look for in an instrument? What do you like about uh, you know different double basses? What are you looking for? Because I know you can't um, really recommend one brand to somebody, but what do you look for? When low you're... end and impact. Yeah, impact. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You really want to have that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of the most useful sound you can get. I mean, for me on a gig, because yeah. it's it's doing the bubbly thing under under everything under the music and it's doing the rhythmic thing that you want to get through all the other but i mean it's great to have some some beautiful growling to growling sound like like that but the first thing i i look for in in, in a bass if i have to choose or set up one or mm. is low end and an impact Fantastic. Well, I, th I think what we'll do is we'll finish on a little performance clip, if that's okay with you, Olivier, that we filmed earlier uh, of you playing this double bass, because I enjoyed this so much, I just wanted to uh, share it with everyone. So we'll finish off with a little performance. Not sure what the piece is. We'll put a note underneath the video by the great Olivier Babaz. So Olivier, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.